Now we're going to do a bunny. I use the stiff brush to draw the dark. I, I'm going to go dark first. Let's just directly go to the darks. <coughs> so I would uh, use my glasses. I'll do the details. You can test the paper on, on this sheet. So you dry the brush a little bit, make it point hit. So I draw an eye, which is look uh, look like this. So the pupil is a uh, like this. Something like that. Okay. Oh, it's so bleak. To uh, leave some space between the the eye and the, the marking, let it bleed that way. Okay. You can dry the brush further if you need it. This this ear is done when calligraphy is stroke. And this part is only a suggestion. This is French bunny kind of like a panda marking. This ear could be a little bigger, I think. Well I just uh, used the marking. And some dark spots. I just exhausted the uh, and used this to shape the other bunny's ear a little bit. So I exhaust all the brush. Now I'm, um, I put clean water in it. And then you can, uh, let me see if I have the paper towel. I just used this paper towel. You can try this. So the, the thirsty brush plus water become gray. You don't need to, to make gray. Just the remaining ink to do the inner side of the, the eye, I mean the ear, like that. And uh, here's, uh, I just omit that uh, uh, nose or mouth, whatever. I just do the, the under of the, the jaw a little bit, okay, and here, uh, just a dotted line, maybe, to the, for the neck. I'm gonna squeeze that out with, uh, with some uh, leaves or some background. And you can make a little bit bleed with the light to soften that. And here is the neck. It, look at the diagonal, it's, it's, it's in, right under the eye on the side. Here is one, and the other is a little bit folded behind. That's the two uh, paws. And the no leg need just a suggestion of, a, of that. Okay, you can, you can put a little Dry brush suggests uh, some fur under the jaw. And now I'm going to suggest the, uh, what do you call the whiskers, right? We can do the whiskers with a smaller brush, I think. Let me use a tiny little, this brush. We have a brush called the rat whisker brush will do the best. So you can use the small whistle brush. So just uh, define the mouth with the uh, whiskers. So this side shorter. 
That's now we work on this one. I'll use this uh, whisker brush. It's better to do the eye without the uh, blurry. Okay, I draw this eye again with the uh, outline. This it's pretty red, uh, orange, but we can you, we can leave some. Uh, you know, just dotted the line. Uh, we can go over it with the uh, orange color later. And this is a baby, so it could be lighter. And uh, we do have to draw this nose with light ink, I think. Let me add some water and try it. Okay, now I do the forehead. The nose a little straight and then suddenly goes down and then we also have whiskers for this leg. This paw and then four leg feet here. This back. This light ink for the white fur. And the, oh, the, the ear. There are two ears, right? So the front one goes like that. Big ear. Lots and fun lines. That one behind the only a suggestion. And uh, the, this is a baby, so that's the thigh folded. Uh, a little bit hint. A short tail, very short tail, long feather, on the long fur. Okay, and uh, short. Okay, and that's a little bit whisker as well on this side. Now we're going to use a little color. I mean, you can wash the brush if you use a different brush would be good to get a little bit of pink for the uh, nose. A little bit orange, a little bit orange, and orange red. Can you see it? Yes? Okay. <clears throat> I just do a little triangle shape, you know, just, I don't have to use ink, but if I want, I can go back to dot the uh, holes, you know, things like the, the little details. But uh, for now, I just put the color. I want it very soft. And uh, this eye could be, you can just go over it with orange and leave a little uh, highlight on top. I think, yeah. The horizontal pupil is what I call it, uh, like rabbit. If it's vertical, it will be cat. The pupil, not yeah, cat. This one's too wet. I wait until later, so I just put the uh, orange inside the ear a little bit. Um, that's about it. Oh, here, here, a little bit inside. You can put the 
this is our cream near the bottom. Just very, very little color will do. And just you can add a little warm, you know, to highlight because they make it to feel a little fresh. It's just a tiny, maybe a little bit warm there. I'm not sure. Soften a little bit. Now I need to make sure that's dry because otherwise, when you put in the orange, it will blur. Uh, I'm going to do the background with a, uh, a green color. Maybe it's just a mix the yellow and the green here. Whatever I left from the previous class. It's a gray blue, actually. For the distant one, we don't need much saturation. So this is basically to squeeze out the uh, white fur. I, I'm thinking to do the strawberry, maybe you can consider those as strawberry leaves. It's like ivy, right? Or somehow like that. So you just don't have to uh, identify the, the plant yet. And we will do a close up one. Here is the Some water to soften the edge. If you need it, okay, some. see, I have a reverse gradation. My, if I just put the water in the front, my tip is soft, so I uh, I can use the the uh, heel to paint, and the tip is the soft side, like that. Just to squeeze out to the white, so we don't use any white. I should feel um, the white fur. Uh, fur. Uh, just to kind of gradually disappear in the fog or something in the field. So a little bit ground. You can use a little brown, maybe just a warmer gray to finish. Uh, let me see. I I I think I turned to, to overdo this. Maybe uh, we just uh, finish with. Uh, oops, that's too yellow. To make a deep color, just do some leaf. I think that um, no room for the fruit. Let me see if I can add the uh, fruits for the strawberry. It, it should be kind of a uh, vibrant red, not so orange or root. It's yellow and uh, just add a little suggestion. You can add a big one there, maybe. Just have, I, uh, yeah. The best spot maybe just right under the rabbit, big one. Yes. And you can, because it's in the field, we have to make a younger one, just like a green one, a yellowish green, tender green. Okay, now I add a little vine or stem, whatever. But this is at the veins, and then just uh, some uh, stems. Whatever. On the, on the uh, red, I just put uh, some dots. 
you can use the black wear a dry brush so you will not bleed that much <coughs> okay on the uh, tender tender food you can use uh, uh, white gouache put a little gouache on Maybe only on the green one, not on the red. Make sure. Okay. Um, there, sometimes you can see the flower. Uh, uh, that if you grow them, it's like a white flower. Maybe five petals. I'm not sure. With the orange color center. Oops, it should be yellow. Yeah, that's, just draw some white petals and put a yellow dot in the middle to suggest that. And uh, if not enough, you can go back to shade the eye a little bit. I don't have any orange for the eye on top. I'm going to add a lot. Just I'll leave a little white. Yeah, my eye is a little small, so I use pure orange to recover a little bit. So that's why. I wet it dry and I use pure out of box, out of tube orange to cover it, to recover that. Okay, that's my bunny. We can sign the um, this side. It's too wet. I just avoid that maybe. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.